How's it going? Jay Brett Turnbull here, Swiftwater Rescue Instructor. And today let's hang out and go through the NRS 2018 July catalog. Let's see what they got going on. Got the dog here. I don't think you're supposed to eat it. Um, Teen Wolf the old dog. So let's see what we got going on here. All right, great photo. Um, yeah, a little marketing, I'm wild, you're wild, everybody wild. A uh, little key here, new for 2018, revisited. Uh, women's model and causing cancer in the state of California. So, let's see what they got. Alright, some nice photo. Uh, some quick dry tops. And I really dig these lightweight uh, hoodies to kind of for overnight trips keep the sun off and I think they're oh what I just do uh, I think they're uh, pretty nice I like those um, then we got some I really I have enjoyed using the NRS uh, rash guard quick dry tops I haven't really used any of their shorts yet so we'll I don't know I might, might pick up a pair eventually there we go, nice little uh, you know, golf shirt, little, nice little base camp there. Uh, quick dry button up, um, nice. The visor, eh, I think it takes a special type of person to pull off the visor on the river or anywhere. Uh, and ooh, some zip off pants to zip off and become shorts. There was a time in my life where I really believed that those would solve a lot of my problems. Uh, so, I don't know, hopefully those make a comeback. I think they're pretty practical for travel and, and camping. And nice photo here. Ooh, the co-pilot in purple. I like it. Uh, some women's quick dry tops and shorts. I like the pattern on those. Those are pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, and then what else? Uh, the women's uh, quick dry button up. I was just on the river with a couple ladies that were saying they had to borrow their husband's quick dry shirts like this for sun protection. But uh, there you go, ladies. We're, we're solving problems. And some ladies' guide shorts. Nice photo of doing the old shot put. And footwear. I got a pair of NRS water booties and I was so impressed with them still use them uh, they hold up great I've had them for three or four seasons super lightweight and uh, I really like the the grip on the soles on them uh, I forget exactly what they're called something with a V uh, these look pretty burl too I, I like those um, and then the Chacos with the NRS strap uh, I've seen these on the river and they blew my mind I think I think those are pretty cool. Uh, I really like that. I like using the, the cam strap, the NRS cam strap, as a belt myself. I think that's total river bum status and uh, pretty practical too. And these Chacos come in men and women's and they don't appear to be any more expensive than what regular Chacos are. So that's cool. And it, I think it was saying that they're uh, limited time only on these. So get them while you can. Update your Chacos. Nice uh, photo rowing down the river. And then here we are at PFDs. And uh, a lot of these are type 3 PFDs. You got the the Zen type 5. And uh, the Ninja. I really like the looks of that one. And I, uh, again, this opinion's biased since I'm a swift water rescue instructor. Uh, I think getting the... The Type 5 PFD is really worth it uh, if you're going to be doing any type of boating and doing it for a while. Um, it is a little more uh, expensive than the other jackets tend to be, but this Type 5 is just going to allow you uh, more adaptability, whether you're kayaking, uh, you see it for a quick release uh, on the SUP board to, to leash up to your SUP board is really a, a use I'm getting out of it now that... Um, you know, I, I uh, 
I think is a real practical purpose for that. And of course, if you're going to be getting into any swift water rescue scenarios, I really recommend the, the Type 5 jacket. And this Zen's been uh, updated with kind of a new material. And I was doing a class on the Smith last month, and one of the students had this jacket, the new updated one. I had worn and used for uh, a whole season the, the old style of the Zen. Uh, but this new material, oh, I I loved it. I wanted to write a write a song about it. Buy it a ring. I uh, very impressed with the style and the function of it. And it just it's a a good good looking jacket. And for the price point, it's a little cheaper than the Astral Green jacket. And this is kind of a lot of the same features and modeled after the uh, Astral Green jacket. So. Um, I, I picked up a green a few seasons ago, but um, man, if they would have had this one out, uh, I would have I, I would have picked it up. Um, I really like the looks of it. I really like the price point. The only disadvantage is you you got to pull it on over your head. It doesn't zip up the front like a lot of the other models, but uh, you know, not not really a big deal. Um, <clears throat> yeah, PFDs. And then a little article about this guy, uh, you know, taking it outside. Oh, what do you know? Kids like to raft. It's a good experience. Uh, you know, gets them off the cell phones. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, good good stuff there. And then getting into the dry bags. I like these ones with the uh, backpacking straps. I've uh, got a different brand, but I find it so useful. It's just super great and the uh, prices on these are really practical <coughs> duffel bag there and little stuff sacks and again these prices are, are pretty great and there you can see the guy carrying it carrying all of her gear to the river good stuff uh, and there's those there's those chacos are you guys falling in love with them yet or what and more kind of dry sack stuff sacks uh, good stuff keep all your stuff dry on the river and someone packing up camp uh, nice hammock uh love these really like that nrs is making some of those little sleeping pads um these things are amazing. I've used this brand. They're they're inflatable solar lights, and man, when I went to Nepal, I took about six of them and uh, wound up leaving them all there. Everyone wanted one. They're just uh, really practical. Really, I just those are something great. I really like. Uh, still got one or two around, and wouldn't think of traveling without it. And some other gear, headlamp. I'm gonna go with Petzl. That's a black diamond. I haven't used these black diamonds much, but uh, you know, Petzl, man, I'm just really impressed with their, their headlamps. So if it's not broken, why fix it? Camp chair, looking pretty good. Uh, cot, and then a bocce ball set. And uh, the only time I've ever played bocce ball is on the river in camp. So uh, that's fun. That might not be something bad to pick up. Looks like it's I don't know, they don't they look like they're bean bags almost or something. Looks pretty lightweight. But bocce ball on the river, what could be better? And nice, nice camp setup there. Love it. And here we got the fire pit, dry box. Uh this river wing, I've seen these, these look great, but just the the price on them gets me, so I'm still stringing up just the old tarps. Uh, but these are, these are great. And then a Dutch oven, classic, having the Dutch oven. A little dry soft, du Durasoft cooler. Uh, thank you NRS for not putting a Yeti in there. <laughs> and a little mat, sand-free mat. Nice stuff. And the rafts. These, the Outlaw, the Otter, and the Expedition. And uh, I love this raft. I love the Otter. I've got three rafts, and two of them are Otters. Otter all day. Uh, 
I can't I can't say enough about this. I really I like the price point on it. Uh, they're pretty. They're very durable. Uh, I love the valves on it. Uh, I just think the Otter is an amazing, uh, you know, amazing, very practical raft. Love them. Ooh, all lined up, looking good. And yeah, we've been going for about 10 minutes, so I think I'm gonna. We're at the end, so you know. Anyway, have a great day.